Alright, it's time for another math easy solution today. We're going to discuss, well, is this something uh, pretty random here? Just a five pin bowling scoring system. I'm just going to go overview on it and also show you some examples on how to calculate the score. And also, I, I created an Excel calculator on it that you could basically input your scores and it'll give you the results. So basically, uh, five pin bowling, uh, it, the ball is basically, here's just some, some notes on it. It's smaller than ten pin bowling, and then it's uh, it, and there's no holes for your fingers because it's, it's a smaller ball. And, and uh, you have three possible bowls per frame to knock down all the pins versus two frames, uh, no, two bowls per frame in 10 pin bowling. And the strike X is but yeah, knocking out all, all of them in, in uh, first throw or a spare, doesn't matter if you use this side or this side. I use uh, this one in my calculator, I'll, I'll show you in a bit. Uh, and it, this is basically knocking out all in the first two throws. And also note that knocking out all the pins by the third bowl is not a spare. So if you cleared your whole, uh, all the pins in three throws, then they just count as the points here. As Well, it's 15 uh, instead of, and you don't get a spare here. And unlike 10 pin bowling, the five pins have different values as shown, as shown below, and they add up to 15 here. So this is how you have five pins, is how it's set up. And then the fr front one. Yeah, so uh, yeah, so this is how it's, it's set up here, and the front pin, this is worth 5 points here, and uh, yeah, for, versus 10 pin, every single pin is worth the same, is worth 1 point, and then these these two right here is 3 points, there's a number 3, A, B, C, D up to here, so there's 5, and these last ones are 2 points each one here. And then also, similar to 10 pin bowling, there are 10 frames, and a strike includes points from the next 2 bowls, that's key. Uh, in the calculating what you get and uh, and basically strikes in the 10th frame you don't get extra points here so you just count them as whatever 15 and, and a spare includes points from the next bowl only so next one bowl versus this is two bowls and spares in the frame don't count as uh, you don't get extra points either okay, so if we have an example here let's just say we'll look at the first three bowls and uh, etc here let's say you get a you get a strike right here so then, then, then that's just you leave it at that. Then let's say you get a three here and a spare, and then in this one here you just get let's say five and a three. Yes, you get a five and a three here, and let's uh, what else would be? Let's say you added a two afterwards, or or let's say you had a four. You hit the last two here. So this one could be the front, and this could be one of the middle ones. This could be the the back two. So then the way you would count this. So what you would do, this frame right here would be basically equals to 15 plus your next two bowls here. So that, and then, then you see what your next two bowls were. And then in this case here, there's a 3. So you put a 3 in here. And then, and then this one here is a spare. And the spare, you would count it because basically how many pins you knock down. Well, 15 minus 3 here is the spare. That equals to 12. So this puts it down here, so 12. So your first frame, you're going to get... 15 plus 3 plus 12 that's this is 15 so this is 30 so after the first frame you get 30 points and then now if you want to count the second one here th this frame is going to be well you knock down all of them 15 plus your next one and your next one is going to be this 5 here so 5 etc and then this one is going to be a 20 so then add them up you're going to get a 50 at the second frame total so your total is 50 you got 20 in the second. Let's look at the third frame. This one is just going to be, well, you just add them up. There's no spare. There's no strikes. Uh, even if you knock them all down, there wouldn't be a, uh, doesn't, wouldn't count as, as a spare here. So then this one's going to be equal to 8 plus 4 is 12. So this is just be 12. And then plus, um, yeah, then you're just going to add these two up. So 12 plus 50 is 62 here. So after the third frame, you have 62. If you keep going all the way, etc., doing random stuff here, this last one here, even if you get a, an X, a, let's say, a 5, and a spare, this, all you do is count them straight exactly. This is going to be a 15 plus a 5, and then this one's going to be, well, plus a whatever you hit, knocked it down. This is going to be 15 minus 5 or 10, because these, these would add up to 15. So this, this one, you're just going to get a 30 here. And this 30 is going to be add up to whatever you had in your ninth frame. And if you had a spare or a, let's say, or a strike, you would add these next two. So really to exactly how I did in this case here. Okay, so one more example before I show the calculator, basically it says, what's the f maximum score that you could get? And to do that, well, you basically get a perfect game or you strike on every single frame. 
So you get, uh, these are nine strikes plus the tenth one, you're gonna basically X, X, X. That is, uh, the tenth is different because remember you don't add extra points here and these are when you just bowl three times. Yeah, yeah, so you're guaranteed three bowls there. So you bowl and you just add up whatever these were. So the number, of, like what I said before, for the first frame, you're gonna get 15 plus your next two because they're, they're just striked. So you added an X here, that's a 15. Add in, this is your next, this is your second throw. So then this total is gonna be 15 plus 15 is 30. Plus 15 is 45. So you get 45 in this first frame. And then in the second one, you're gonna get as well, you're gonna get a 15 plus your next two. And that's just gonna be, this is the three's gonna go there. The third frame X is gonna go there. The fourth goes here. So this is gonna be as well 45. So after the first two, you're gonna get 90, etc. So you keep doing this all the way. So every single one's gonna get 45 here. So this one, you're gonna get a 45, 45, etc all the way to the ninth one. So this one's also gonna get 45 because your next two bowls are both 15 and 15. So add them up to the 15, that's 45. And then this one here, this is 15 plus 15 plus 15, that's 45 as well here. So every single frame is 45. So you're gonna have 45 times it by 10 frames. And that's just gonna be 450 is the maximum here. So equals to max that you could, yeah, it's basically a perfect game here. All right, so now I made this uh, Excel sh Excel sheet calculator on five pin bowling. First thing I wanna, before I just go with over it, I have some note here that the formulas are locked just so I don't make any mistakes and uh, modifying it or, or if, if you can, because you could download this in the video link below, or, I mean on the Dropbox link below in the description of this video. But so you could unlock this if you wanna edit anything on, uh, well you could just go to review and, and click unprotect sheet and type MES, that's gonna be the password. So I unlocked it right now. Then the only things that you would be able to, if you don't unlock, is to modify these green uh, calculated, uh, yeah, this, these green input here for the frame number. So basically, a, a strike is an X, and a spare is uh, pr the slash on this side slash. I have a program for that. Uh, so not this one here. So just just to make sure, because uh, uh, this one's gonna give you wrong answers in this calculator. So basically, I have a score per uh, frame here. So if you have X on every single one here, you're gonna get 450. Let's modify this. Let's say you got a. Uh, let's say, I don't know, five and a spare. So I have this, if the score is, there's no strike or spare, I just have them as blanks here, or just a dash meaning a zero. And then this, if the score is, uh, if there's a spare involved, then you're gonna count them up here. This is just the, yeah, so basically you can look at the formulas here. If this is a spare, you're gonna have this 15 plus whatever your next throw is. So that's if it's an X is a 15, otherwise it's whatever the number is. So if you modify these, let's say you put nine as every single one, and nine in a spare, nine in a spare. Yeah, so basically if you go over them, all of them here, if you got a spare in every single one, you're gonna get a 240. So number, this this uh, neat thing I found is, it depends on what you had first here. So a nine in a spare is higher than if you got, let's say, a two in a spare. Even though every frame you had the same number of, you cleared every single one here. So this is a, you had two here. So you went from 240 was with a nine, you had two, two here. So then 170 is if you had a two and a spare every single one and and then the other one is if you got spare everywhere but with a nine first then you're gonna get uh, 240. Because remember you add up your next shot and then adding a, a nine is is uh, higher than adding a two here on every single one. So this first frame is 17 plus and the second one 17. If you had a nine here this would be yeah, th yeah, this would still be 17 because that's what the, the spares is you're adding this two here. So if you change this, the first frame goes to 24 here. This one doesn't change, but your next, it's going to change based on whatever this was. So nine is to 24 here. So remember, yeah, so the higher the first throws are always better than uh, than getting basically, even if you got a spare, just higher first throws better than uh, lower first score. Well, that's, uh, yeah, that's all for now. You can download these notes in the Dropbox link below. I'm just going to password this up just to make it, so you don't mess up the formulas here. You could double check what I did, but I've, I've d double checked. It's pretty accurate. So remember, you can download these this, uh, calculators. It's pretty useful. And uh, that's all for today. And remember, you can also download these notes in the Dropbox link below. That's all for today. And uh, stay tuned for another math easy solution.